This is a very special iMac G3. At a blistering 700 megahertz, it's the fastest one they ever made. But Apple stopped supporting this thing with software updates, well, before some of you were even born. So you might be surprised to hear that the latest version of OpenBSD still supports this machine today. So let's install the world's most compatible modern OS on this 20 year old relic of early 2000s computing. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy dragging innocent old computers into the modern age, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. The original 233 MHz iMac G3 was a revolutionary machine in 1998, and it saw continual upgrades over the years, culminating in 2001 with this thing, the 700 MHz version. This model only lasted a few months though until the iMac G4 was announced. Well, I've been trying to find one of these somewhat rare top spec iMacs for a while now. To abuse, I mean, to show some love to. And we're gonna max this iMac out with a hand-built IDE SSD from DOS Dude 1, toss in the Mac's RAM, and install the world's most compatible operating system, OpenBSD. So let's crack this thing open and get this rather unhappy 20-year-old hard drive out of here. The plastics on this thing are pretty fragile, so we probably shouldn't use a bunch of power tools on it. And since the DOS dude drive here is meant for laptops, we can use a laptop to desktop IDE adapter here and just cover over these contacts to prevent any shorting out. And I'll just make sure we have the full one gig of RAM installed with two 512 PC-133 modules. And I will replace this old battery here since we are going to store some values in open firmware. Now, installing OpenBSD on an old Mac like this actually could not be easier. We've done it before on this channel with older releases, but I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the entire process here now because I hope you might Try this on your own, Vintage Max. Right after this word about today's sponsor, Factor. You know, I spend so much time using computers wrong that I hardly have time to prepare delicious meals. Also, I can't cook, like, at all. You can choose from 35 plus weekly meals that Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, right to your door. From dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around 550 calories per serving, to gourmet plus meals with upscale premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, and truffle butter. And they're all ready in just two minutes. Heat and enjoy. And holy cow, did I especially enjoy the cilantro jalapeno pork chop. The pork was cooked perfectly, tender, and the fresh cilantro really came through. I would 100% eat this again. <laughs> And October is the perfect time to start with limited time fall flavor meals like cranberry pecan chicken and apple Dijon pork chops. So head to factor75.com and use code actionretro50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Again, that's factor75.com and code actionretro50. Now just wait until you see how easy this install is. We don't even have to burn any CDs. We can do this all from a USB stick and we can get the ISO image right from an OpenBSD mirror. On OpenBSD.org, just click on the latest release here, and then the FTP page for mirrors. I use the Australian mirror because why not? It's the first on the list. And if we go down to 7.4 and then down to Mac PPC, all we need to download is install 74.iso and just flash that sucker straight to a USB drive. Okay, so I've run into some problems and instead of showing you all of the trial and error it took to figure this out, I'm just gonna tell you. So in case you run into this issue, you won't be hopefully banging your head against the wall. 
So kind of three things I discovered. One, the iMac G3 is super finicky and does not like this adapter. It does like this adapter, so I will link that down in the description. Two, unfortunately, I don't think this iMac likes the DOS Dude drive. I don't know if it's because of the size of the drive. This is a 256 gig model. OpenBSD does see that it's 256 gigs, but I'm getting all sorts of like block errors and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go with another solution. Namely, this tried and true adapter that has always worked like a charm for me. And I have a 120 gigabyte Dogfish MSATA SSD in here. So MSATA SSD into an adapter, into another adapter, and that seems to work just fine. Third issue, booting off of USB can be a bit hit or miss on the iMac G3. It seems like open firmware only recognizes the bootable USB one out of every five boots. So I have to reboot it a couple times and go back into open firmware each time. And eventually it does work. So I can definitely see a lot of people giving up after one or two tries, but keep at it because it will eventually let you boot from USB. All right, USB drive is in, start up the computer, command option OF, hold those down right after the chime. And that drops us into open firmware. Okay, so I have my USB drive in the top port, that is USB port one. So we're going to type here, boot USB one slash disk colon comma OFW boot slash 7.4 slash Mac PPC slash BSD dot RD. Hey, look at that, we got first try. Like I said before, you might have to reboot a couple of times before it actually lets you do it. Just keep at it. Oh yeah, look at that lovely blue and white BSD startup text. So we're gonna blow through this installation real quick because it's super easy, but I'll point out the things you have to do along the way. So I for install iMac G3, available network devices, we're doing Gem Zero. I've plugged it into ethernet already, so autoconf. All right, we got the DNS name server from the router. Do some secure passwords here. Start SSHD by default. Yes, we're running X Windows, and I'm gonna say yes, start it by XenoDM automatically. Set up a user, yep. Now we're going to install this to the root disk of WD0. SD0 is the USB stick. And then we're gonna use the whole disk, so W. We'll use auto layout, so A, and it will do its thing, and then done. All right, so now it's gonna to ask to install the sets, and we're gonna choose disk, which is the default here. Partition already mounted is no, and we're gonna be installing from SD0, which is the USB stick. The path name to the set is correct. And then everything is checked off here, so we can Hit enter for done. It's gonna warn us about the SHA-256. We'll just type yes. And there we go, we are installing OpenBSD. I will jump cut to this install being completed. All right, rebooting and once again, holding down command option OF to get into open firmware. And now we just have to tell open firmware to always boot from OpenBSD on the hard drive instead of looking for Mac OS. So set env boot device hd colon comma of w boot slash bsd and then reset hyphen all oh yeah usb stick is out we are booting into glorious open bsd off of the ssd now one more quick step to get a working desktop and i'm going to do it the easy way by SSHing into the iMac G3 and copy pasting from my modern computer, but we need to add an xorg.config with the proper values for the iMac's display and video card. And fortunately, other people have done this before. And what I've done is kind of tweaked a version of this that I know works on these machines using the 
R128 uh, video driver, and I've popped it up onto FrogFind. So I will link to this file down in the description in case you're installing OpenBSD on your own iMac G3. Package add wget. Let's get nano too. And all we need to do is stick that file in etc. x11. We can wget this configuration file and uh, reboot. Oh, look, there it is. The fastest iMac G3 ever made with one gig of RAM, 700 megahertz running a modern up-to-date operating system. Let's see how well it does. Wow, pretty quick into the desktop here. So by default, we are in the very minimalist FVWM, which I do kind of like quite a lot. It's very old school looking and very fast and functional, but we're going to want to get some other applications on here, like perhaps a uh, web browser. So we can do package add Dillo. Oh yeah, Dillo is great. This browser will run on just about anything. And it can browse modern websites with modern HTTPS. It can't do anything fancy like complicated JavaScript, but look at this, CSS rendering working on Hacker News for a totally usable experience. <laughs> it's pretty fast, honestly. But let's try something even cooler. Oh yeah, check this out. I just installed Window Maker, which gives us this next step open step style interface. Oh, look how cool this is. Oh yeah, it's like I'm really using open step. And everything you need to install Window Maker is available right in the OpenBSD repositories already compiled for Mac PPC. And yeah, it is very smooth on this machine. Just check it out. That is smoother than running Tiger on here, I think. And we have a bunch of themes that we can choose from. This is the open step theme. Let's see, step 2000. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> this is, this is awesome. Ah, uh, window maker is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> The Leet theme. All right, check it out. I think I found my perfect desktop setup with this cool open BSD background and the checkers window theme. Man, it is smooth, really smooth. Now I did download a couple things like VLC. I'm really curious if that will even launch. Oh, goodness. Well, it tried. Yeah, that got a segmentation fault. I downloaded a game called Abuse. Let's see if that works. Nope, segmentation fault. All right, well, I think there are a lot of things that I can install on here. Some of them I'll probably have to compile. I really want to put Classic Cube on here. But yeah, just for now, web browser Dillo is super fast and it's a modern operating system that I can SSH into other machines and VNC and do all sorts of modern system stuff. All right, so we successfully got OpenBSD running on this thing and it runs great on this 700 megahertz fastest iMac G3 ever released. But there's a lot more I wanna do with this machine. Specifically, I wanna to try to overclock it and see if we can make OpenBSD run even better because I have a very silly plan. I wanna stream from this thing to Twitch using FFmpeg. And I know it's possible because we've sort of done that in the past with a slower iMac G3, but about one frame per second. But I think we can stream this thing to Twitch with my face and actually do something with it. But in any event, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching.
And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman, Andrew Nicholson, April White, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Alt Reese, Daniel Hubbard, Frodo Jedi, George Rosansky, Greg Krutke, Harris Brody, James Fryman, James Laurie, Jason Pipas, Jason Ezel, Lyle Truid, Matthew Crowell, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Cedarbaum, Scott Thompson, Tom Woodfin, and Unknown Soldier 41, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.